I want to ask you, bro, uh, what was the red pill moment for you? Like, when was the time when you said, hey, I like this dude. I'm putting the MAGA hat on. Can you, I mean, Yeah, you for know? sure. Um, there's a, a author named Scott Adams, and he has a daily podcast. He goes live on YouTube, everywhere. And he's on Twitter, too. Y'all can follow him, Scott Adams. And he keeps it real. Like, he, he's pretty balanced. And he just looks at stuff differently. And I was listening to him every day, and he would talk about how you know, the way the media works, like the media is a business, they got to earn their commercials, you know, big pharma be paying the bills over there. And he and he would just explain how, how narratives can be created. He talks about persuasion. And basically, like, how mass media can create a narrative, how these apps can make things trend. And little by little, he would take like a story that was designed to make Trump look bad. Like he called soldiers suckers and losers. And then he would say, what did I tell y'all about stories that have anonymous sources? If you don't have like a real human being oh. saying, my name is John Smith and I was there and this is what he said and I, I put my name on it. He's like, how much faith can we really put in some of these stories? And then... Everything from the drink bleach hoax to um, the fine people hoax where supposedly he called Nazis fine people. He would break it down like, look, this is where they did the edit. This is fake. This is where they cut it. And then once I saw that, then my anger shifted towards the media because I'm like, yo, y'all been lying to us. And yep. then check this out, Nino. I stuck my neck out because i have a moral obligation if i see people lying to my raza lying to my people lying to my community and playing us for dumb and we're not able to make a good choice or a good decision because we're basing all our decisions off emotion of yep. being single issue voters and based off of lies that the news been telling us meanwhile i'm blowing the horn saying can y'all please pay attention to what Joe Biden is doing and what he said and what he's about, how he was against this and against that. And, you know, been in politics 50 years and racist half the time and, and locking people up. And no people didn't want to hear it. They're like, nah, man, but, you know, he's the best we got. And we got to be Democrat because we're brown. So I got to give props to Scott Adams. He, he's definitely the person that red pilled me. And then after that, I could never look at the news the same.